Hello everyone, welcome to Shangri-La's Academy. The civil service examination result for this year has been announced and 993 aspirants have cleared this prestigious examination. So out of this 993 aspirants, 336 students are from Shangri-La's Academy. So a huge congratulations to, to all of them. Today we have with us uh, Ms. Arya we have uh, who have uh, secured all India rank of 36 with, with us. So welcome Arya and uh, hearty congratulations to you from me and the whole Sandra family. Oh thank you. <laughs> Arya, uh, how do you define this success? I usually follow a quote by Winston Churchill that mm. says that success is the ability to go from one failure with, to another without the loss of enthusiasm. So I was someone who prepared myself uh, a lot to accept failure this time I must say because I thought me going to interview to be a good feat mm -hmm. considering so many uncertainties that I Definitely faced in the preparation journey. So I thought uh, the ability like I tried to muster up as much energy as possible to try my best for the next prelims. I started solving question papers from 17th of April onwards which was five days after my interview mm -hmm. and I was solving questions just two days before my uh, yeah. results also. So uh, I thought I defined success like that and even now I define success like the same like it is the ability to move from failure to another without the loss of enthusiasm and also to move from one success to another without having a sense of pride and also uh, being condescend like condescendingly okay that's a great way to define the success <laughs> okay Arya, uh, we all have that point of time uh, that specific spark which makes us to do or not to do things so according to you what was your initial spark the, to come into the civil services okay it happened sometime when i was in my eighth standard mm -hmm. i was going in, uh, in a bus and i saw a lot of things like littering over there and uh, i don't know whether it will sound very philosophical or, or not i saw very big bungalows mm -hmm. and so many huts adjacent like uh, standing adjacently so it was just this whims and fancies of an eighth standard student who thought that uh, an ips officer or an ias officer can make things right mm -hmm. Uh, again, it is something that movies instilled in me, mm -hmm. and that is that spark. Arya, as you said, uh, you got the spark. Now you are in this journey. So we have, uh, as we have in the roads, uh, we have the twists, the turns, the red lights, the green lights, the ups, the downs. And at one specific point of time, we have to take that U-turn. So how did you get to that decision? Like, uh, what guided you to take that decision? Uh, I am someone who actually started with a speed breaker, I should say. Uh, after my master's, I wanted to join a civil service academy and pursue civil services. Uh, I came in here, I inquired about uh, fees and how I should go about doing it. Uh, then I got to know that it is very costly, I must say. <laughs> and uh, not just uh, I, I fees, but also getting accommodation, paying for that. My parents were ready to pay, but I had a terrible sense of self-esteem. So I just wanted to do things uh, myself. So I took a small break. I started teaching over there. And then once I came back to this preparation, the biggest hurdle that I faced was I was a teacher. Now I should be a student. And listening patiently to classes, taking notes has become a very difficult task for me. And then I prepared and then came again another major hurdle that was COVID. Like I had online classes, I'm talking about I had COVID and it was very difficult for me, especially during that COVID days to sit up and attend classes. But fortunately the exam got postponed. So that was again uh, my accelerator over there. I thought that, okay, I have got uh, some months in my hand so I'll give a very good try this time and I tried and I actually expected myself to clear my first prelims but that was the biggest setback I had in this uh, preparation journey I should say I couldn't clear that prelims and I must say that it was a very difficult time because uh, I was I got JRF but 
I was sacrificing that for pursuing my passion. So everybody was coercing me to go for a safer option that will be a PhD in a very reputed university that I could have secured then or to go for another job. I did write many exams but again I couldn't clear it and uh, I had to even come back home uh, after my first prelims. So that was uh, kind of a uh, red light for me and then again there was a sea of advices and I was lost in taking the right one because I was someone who had little uh, well, like peer group in the beginning uh, but later it evolved actually but I, I was not sure whether I was doing the right thing and when two, I talk to two people they will be telling absolutely contradicting things and when I am watching YouTube videos I have seen toppers talking about uh, some toppers will be talking about the importance of logic some toppers will be talking about gaining maximum information somebody will be talking about studying 16 hours a day and I was like okay I'm not in for this but uh, later things uh, turned out well for me in my second prelims I could clear my second prelims and then came mains and then I saw one of the biggest red lights in my life that was my optional because my optional English literature it was not a very popular one and we hardly had any test series for the same and I myself was thinking like am I going myself into a gamble because it's like you have cleared prelims but you don't know you don't have a test series you don't have a mentor you don't have any answer keys and are you like uh, putting all your hope over something that you are not sure of but I had no options but to go forward uh, as Robert Frost said I chose the path that was less traveled but however it was my optional that paid me off and the moment when I got to know that I cleared means that was the what is it, the most unusual moment for me I will place it even over my uh, current results because I, I was someone who didn't expect me to clear means but however I could clear that and then it was like okay now I am going in front of UPSC I am going to talk to people I am going to talk to many people which is something that I loved and also I am going to talk in front of UPSC board which is something that we have usually seen only in movies like for a person like me I have seen that only in movies so that was like uh, a cinema wala moment for me <laughs> cinema wala moment uh, like uh, there is one interesting term yeah, I, I will i will catch that so uh, are you, what, what was that is a specific cinema wala moment okay i am someone who watches a lot of movies but i don't know anything about technically or i am not a critic at all but uh, cinemas uh, or series I should say is something that sustains me a lot so when I was just in front of my interview board like we will be asked to wait in front of that board for some time like we should ease our tension somehow so I just did a small <laughs> swing movement in front of them. that was not filmy but that was something that happened like I didn't dance outrightly but okay. I had a small uh, uh, I did a few steps and then when I went in surprisingly I haven't mentioned movies anywhere in my daft mm -hmm. but I talked a lot about movies <laughs> in fact I uh, I consider myself who talked a lot over there and I talked about uh, Parir and Birmal I talked tried talking about Darjeeling limited but I mentioned some other name over there <laughs> so that was very filmy for me and even my moment of success when the results came out in Malayalam there is actually a dialogue uh, where a person who is winning a lot of this Adichumone Adichumone moment was there yes yes I you talked about uh, moments. So, uh, can you please revisit your moments? The moment uh, you felt happy, uh, you felt excited, and uh, you felt sad. So, those those moments. Okay. First of all, talking about the moment of happiness. Uh, this is something I haven't talked much. I'm someone who had slight signs of clinical depression when I was preparing, especially during my mains. So after writing my mains when I talked with my psychologist mm -hmm. she told me that you have evolved a lot okay I have seen you uh, in a very bad position and I could uh, with slight mild depression I could write my mains and 
it, the success came later but I could write it mm -hmm. I could muster up all my courage and might to write it and after doing that she told me that you have grown a lot mm -hmm. and that was a moment of happiness because it's like I have pushed myself up okay. my uh, moment of excitement came actually in one of the most unlikely places uh, that was during my interview in front of my interview board because I was someone who's not very uh, happy before going into uh, like the inside that building but once when I got in when I signed that those papers I actually saw that like I am there in front of UPSC like I am inside that circular building and I'm going to face a board and when I went in like when Satyavati ma'am she was my mm. panel member she asked wish me out Arya I said I was said yes ma'am with all my mother was, uh, that I, I will not advise that but that was a moment of excitement excitement for me Great. then talking about the most frustrating moment uh, this is something that might be faced by many girls of my age when I go for each and every marriage they'll ask me about when am I going to get married <laughs> and for somebody who was earnestly preparing for you see though they, they, they didn't know this but to expect that a girl of 26 should get married otherwise she'll be run out of demand in the mar uh, marriage market was something that frustrated me <laughs> then talking about the moment of being helpless I should say that again it happened during my mains uh, I had uh, some uh, mains exam which was conducted by other uh, institutions like SSA and all emits my mains exams and I also tried prepare I uh, sidelined all those exams and I went in for UPSC but when my first full test results came I scored very low I thought I have done myself well but I scored very low I was not certain about my optional also then that was like a moment of helplessness because it was just one week before the exams and I couldn't do much then uh, but again later it turned out that uh, that evaluator uh, that person just uh, stuck onto a key mm -hmm. and then evaluated me but however that moment was like uh, very helpful because my three months of hard work and me sacrificing a lot of other jobs for this uh, preparation yeah. going wrong and I felt very helpless then I literally there was a veranda uh, where I the, in that reading room that I used and I just went in there and cried but looking back uh, I think those cries were answered or those prayers were answered <laughs> Then coming to a moment of being blank, I should say after seeing 2023 question paper, like on one hand I felt very relieved that I am out of the loop but on the other hand I was like what will I tell to my fellow aspirants because I had seen the question paper and it was a completely new pattern like we had state they asked statement questions they asked about a lot of animals the squirrel that I could see uh, the elephant that I could see assumed a lot of importance in my life uh, or it would uh, it will assign a lot of importance in my fellow aspirants life so I felt bland uh, with the sense of relief but also with a sense of concern I must say but I think uh, aspirants are stronger enough to come out of all those uncertainties. So definitely they, they are becoming stronger. Yeah, that's a definite case. So uh, the prelims exam, we all know the exam is getting tougher and tougher and there is this uh, nature of unpredictability for the UPSC. So even considering that fact, the aspirants, ha are, they are having uh, uh, this concern like the exam is getting tougher and tougher year by year. So, how to tackle those things like uh, this last uh, this year, present 2023, prelims is one of the toughest exams conducted by the UPSC. So, what's your take on this for the aspirants? I'd like to consider prelims as one of the biggest tests for testing the grit of an administrator maybe or a civil servant maybe. Because uh, once we are into the service too, as uh, the surprises that su provided by UPSC, we'll, ha we'll be having a lot of surprises from the system and from society. But I think 
what that is important is yes we will be uh, we will be having a moment of shock and we will be shaken for some time but to revamp ourselves within a short span of time that's very crucial for a civil servant so with this prelims especially with gs1 what i found was that yes there was a very big pattern change but we could apply the logic that we usually apply for eliminating options in order to ascertain whether a statement will be right or not and then uh, it will take some time it is not easy but that is the only way that we can come out of it so with such kind of surprises i think we should do the best that we can do with it and especially another paper that is getting tougher year by year is csat paper uh, it was meant to be qualifying but it is eliminating these days so with that paper i think again it is a test of time management and also decision making of uh, an administrator because time management in the sense that we should pick up those questions that we will be capable of doing within that two hours so that we can qualify it and decision making i'm not talking about comprehension but i'm talking about selecting the some questions that you will be able to do and avoiding some questions understanding that it is tough and you will take up your time i think that paper is crucial in that manner and again there is no substitute for practice in upsc yes. so practice as much and again be ready for surprises then fight it out till the end of the last moment are you your uh, interview score was 193 so that's a two score so uh, what was your uh, moment of conflict i had this uh, huge debate about whether personality test is an interview where questions will be asked we should just answer or is it really a test of personality going around in my mind uh, that's when i attended a panel mock in shankar ias and i could also have uh, have got the opportunity to meet a few toppers like meera ma'am and uh, another topper a uh, topper Me from 2020 so that at first moment like i was not very prepared then i just had what i am uh, my usual uh, talking stuff with me and a little bit of preparation on my dad but during my first panel mock it actually went uh, very well and raja sir he constantly told me that just be yourself you will be able to do it and that sheer confidence that sir vested on me and like he used to repeatedly tell me and even lena ma'am you to convey that to me that i just uh, i should just be myself and it is that confidence that will carry me to the list or any other place i could and that was my moment of confidence are you your option was english uh, so english literature not everyone takes that option so all over india there are very few aspirants who take english as an option subject and uh, you scored a very huge mark as uh, we said you scored 299 marks in english option so uh, how did you do that now what was your strategy on that uh, so all those things uh, i was a post graduate in english literature so i had my post graduation subject among the optional uh, optional listed out by upsc so that was my first obvious reason to choose english literature more than that i knew that there were so many uncertainties associated with it but when i just went through the previous year questions and also the syllabus i got to know two things one most of the text that was mentioned over there uh, were part of my either ug or pg syllabus so these were those were basic texts that will be familiar to each and every literature student and two when i just went through the previous year questions i could zero in on four or five themes uh, that's there for each and every text so Well, considering that i have done my masters that job was actually easy for a master student because i just want to study four or five topics uh, from that and most of the questions in that optional came from the syllabus so that gave me the confidence because choosing other optionals for me was like building a house from the scratch but for me english literature it already there was a foundation and a small hut was there i just want to build on that so i chose to build my house in english literature uh, are you how uh, your optional subject english literature how it help in your uh, gs preparations uh, i not say that the proficiency of an english literature optional student is required for gs how 
it helped me in many ways. For instance, when it comes to essay, I usually used to start with a quote or a poem. Like, uh, for instance, uh, when it comes to this year's essay, I started with a quote by Savitri Bhai Bhule. And I think that helped me a lot. And even when it comes to GS answers, rather than writing uh, something like it reduced, it eliminated, uh, I used synonyms and that helped to create a kind of lively feeling. Like, I am writing the same thing, but it will sound like I am writing different things. And uh, again, when it comes to interview, my language helped a lot. Again, I will not say that it is very necessary to speak very fluent English when it comes to uh, interview. interview. But again, uh, playing with words will help us to catch the attention of the board. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah. and it will help us to be confident too. So there are uh, a million aspirants who apply uh, the civil service examination every year. And in among these million people, only a selected thousand gets selected. I'm not getting the exact facts, but still, approximately a thousand people will be getting it from these uh, 10 lakh aspirants. So, there is a huge majority who get ousted from the civil services. So, what's your take? Like, uh, what can you say to those people, like people who are not getting into the services? When it comes to UPSC, the numbers are really huge. But I had a friend of mine who used to tell me that don't think of permutations and combination when it comes to UPSC. Just do your job. And to my fellow aspirants who may be finding themselves in a very difficult situation right now, I would just like to say that don't give up on yourself. Like sometimes the whole universe may be conspiring for you. Sometimes nobody will be rooting in for you. But as you are following your passion and if you are putting in your effort, be confident about the effort that you are putting in. And even if nobody is there to push you or nobody is there as a beam of hope for you, just be your own light and just don't give up. Are you, uh, are you satisfied? Initially, when I saw the results, I had a great sense of satisfaction because I got everything that I asked for. But then I saw a lot of people coming with me with a lot of hope. It's not the hope that they have placed on me, but it's also the hope that they have in this institution and in this system. And that, I think, is a very huge responsibility. And I think I'll have miles to go before I sleep. And then only I'll get that sense of satisfaction. You're going to make the future. Oh, but still, I wish you a great future ahead from me as well as from uh, Shanghai's Academy, the whole Shanghai family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Arya. Thank you.